The Stark Knight ecosystem I think is a little underrated and has tons of projects that could airdrop in the future. In this video, I made a giant spreadsheet researching the StarkNet ecosystem and I found 20 tokenless projects that could airdrop in the future and lots of them have point systems if you look in this column here. If you want to try to farm the StarkNet ecosystem, bookmark this video or get your wallet ready. We're going to go step by step through all of these airdrops and how to get them. I try to do all the research so you don't have to, so let's jump in and get started. Welcome back to RankFi, where we explore crypto together. So could StarkNet be the next ecosystem with tons of airdrops like Solana? Well, here are three reasons I think it's a little bit overlooked right now. First of all, StarkNet's total value lock is not very high compared to like Solana and other ecosystems. Number two, I found 20 potential StarkNet airdrops. 10 of those have point systems, as you can see in this column here. And while a point system doesn't guarantee an airdrop, it is much more likely since points usually contribute to how much of an airdrop you get. Then I believe there are six confirmed airdrops on this list and at least three projects have tokens confirmed as well. Number three, some of these airdrops are not very competitive. On a couple of these projects, I only made a couple swaps or $100 in volume so far, and I was in the top three or 4,000 users. If you remember the Jito airdrop on Solana, People made tens of thousands of dollars because there was only 10,000 wallets, I believe, that split the entire thing. So less competition is good for airdrops. And some of these StarkNet apps, which I'll show you, have low competition. And number four, in case you missed it, Stark has confirmed an airdrop. There is a Stark token coming. 1.8 billion tokens will be airdropped at some point. We don't know the official date, but they did announce this in December. And that's going to bring a lot of liquidity into the StarkNet ecosystem when that happens. And I bet you a lot of these projects are penciling in their airdrop dates because they know the Stark token's coming and that's going to benefit the entire ecosystem. I've been farming StarkNet for over a year now and now I'm going after some of the projects in the ecosystem. Obviously, this is not financial advice. Do your own research, but I think this has a lot of potential. So let's get started. Everything, including the spreadsheet, is linked in the description. So if you want to open that up and follow along, open this spreadsheet now. So the prerequisites we need to use StarkNet are a wallet. So I have two of the most popular wallets here, and then we need two bridge funds. I have two bridges here, which also have airdrop potential. So starting with airdrop number one and two, we have Argent and Bravos, the two most popular wallets on StarkNet. So you can go here, set up a StarkNet wallet or a Bravos wallet. Doesn't matter which one you use. Ideally, you want to use both. I use StarkNet, so I just go here, install it on Chrome. Make sure it's in the same spot as your MetaMask or your non-StarkNet wallet. You'll see why in a second. And once you have it installed, it's gonna look something like this. To qualify for a potential Argent airdrop, you want to deposit funds, you want to use the in-app feature to swap tokens, and then you just wanna use it with third-party applications, which you'll be doing naturally as we do the other airdrops in the rest of this video. Now, Argent has raised $56 million, which is quite a bit for a wallet. The airdrop is just a rumor though. In my opinion, wallet token airdrops are slim. A lot of wallets don't have tokens, but you need a wallet anyways. So this is just a bonus if Argent has an airdrop. Now, Bravos is the same thing, except they do have a pro score, which is technically like a points system. So if you install the Bravos wallet, you would want to go through the DAP gallery and try to get points through their system and try to get your pro score as high as possible. And just like Argent, use any of the other built-in features within the wallet. You can also collect the Pro Score NFTs. And I think this one is more likely than Argent since they do have a point system, but they've only raised $10 million. So again, we'll see. We need a wallet anyways, though. Once you set up your StarkNet wallet, it's not going to have any money on it. So you need to bridge funds so we can start using the StarkNet ecosystem. Rango Exchange is a popular bridge that supports the StarkNet network. And StarkNet uses Ethereum to pay for gas fees. Each transaction is like 50 cents to a dollar roughly. So it's a little bit expensive, but those fees should be decreasing very soon. So to use Rango, you would just connect your wallet in the top right corner, connect your non StarkNet wallet, such as MetaMask, then just connect your Argent X or Bravos wallet here, which you just installed. You have to connect both of them. That's why you have to install it in the same browser as your MetaMask. And now my both of my wallets are connected. In the to field, you want to select StarkNet. Make sure you send over Ethereum because that's what you need to pay for gas fees on StarkNet. And then you can bridge funds from any chain. Rango supports over 50 blockchains, which is awesome. So if you have funds on Arbitrum, you can send it over. It also swap the token at the best rates. So if you have USDC on Arbitrum, you can have it convert to ETH. Just click swap, confirm it in your wallet. And if it's not working, you can click this refresh route button. 
Let me show you an example. So it'll find it different routes, but if you don't like this route, you can just click refresh and it'll find a new one if the transaction isn't working or something like that. Now Rango has confirmed an airdrop, which is awesome. And you can also use this to bridge funds to base, linea and other potential airdrops so you can use this for other airdrops that you're farming as well they have 2.5 percent of their token supply going to airdrops and the rango token is likely coming in 2024 and the team itself i even saw them retweet an airdrop post so it's basically confirmed and try to build as much volume as possible to get a higher airdrop that's how most of these airdrops work the more volume the bigger your airdrop for airdrop number four you have omni bitcoin so you can go here connect your wallet for Argin X in the top right corner, click connect and it'll look like this. You can go to trade here and basically the same thing as Rango, connect your MetaMask wallet as well and you can bridge funds to StarkNet or a bunch of other chains that they have. Here they have about 15 chains it looks like. Now these guys are also dropping OB tokens to early users and they have a points system here. So if you use my referral link, you get 50 free points and then you earn points through every swap and referral that you get. As you try to climb this leaderboard, this will likely contribute towards the airdrop that you get. And if we go to the spreadsheet and scroll down, there's actually some other bridges here that you can also use if you want uh, more potential airdrops. Again, there's RhinoFi, there's Orbiter Finance. Starkgate is the native StarkNet bridge. I don't think this one will have an airdrop unless you're going for the Stark airdrop, but we don't know if that's too late or not yet. But just keep that in mind. There's more bridges down here as well. Once you bridge tokens, you'll finally have some Ethereum on your StarkNet wallet. And now we can move on to the other protocols. So airdrop number five is Nostra. So this is a lending and borrowing protocol. And if we look at some of the top protocols on StarkNet, Nostra is number two. And you can see it's growing pretty quickly as 8 million TVL at the time of this video. So to use Nostra, connect your wallet in the top right corner, sign the transaction. And as you see, they have a points system as well, and you will earn points for lending and borrowing tokens. And the longer that you lend and borrow, the more points that you receive. So you can click on this lend tab in the top of the navigation, select a token such as Ethereum, and put the amount that you want to lend, click deposit, confirm it in your wallet. The fee right now is 81 cents. Click confirm and you're gonna receive, and you're gonna receive this token in return. Just wait a few seconds. In transaction successful, we can close this and see the assets are here. Now, if we want to stop lending that, we can just withdraw our funds here and click withdraw. And then you can check your points in the points section. And there's 166,000 wallets at the time of this video. So you wanna get your rank as high as possible. There is a NOS NOS token on the way. We don't know how much money they've raised, but this, this is passive. You can kind of just forget about it for a few days or weeks and earn points in the background. Obviously be careful. There are risks when you're leaving your money places, but the more money you lend, the more points you get in general. And by the way, if you want my checklist for StarkNet and all my top crypto airdrops, go to rankfi.com slash airdrop to get my free checklists. Airdrop number six is called Hashstack. This is similar to Nostra. It's also a lending and borrowing protocol. So you can go here, supply USDT, for example. So let's click this supply. And the minimum here is 25 USDT. And you would do the same thing. Now they actually have an airdrop in the top corner here. And you can see people with how many points they're getting. Now this one is time sensitive. As you can see, it concludes January 2nd, 2024. And it looks like the airdrop is happening right now. There's five days left. So I'll try to update this in the spreadsheet after January 22nd. I'm not sure what happens after this date, if it's completely done, but that is another airdrop to take a look at. Moving on to airdrop seven, and I think this one has a lot of potential called Ikabu. Now again, this one also has a point system like a lot of these. The team has hinted at launching an airdrop and they've raised $12 million in funding. This is also really interesting because Ikabu is the top protocol on DeFi Llama, well on StarkNet according to DeFi Llama. And also it's created by the builder of Uniswap and Uniswap back in the day had a $350 million airdrop, absolutely massive. So I think this one does have a lot of potential. Now the tasks here are very simple. You visit the website and just start swapping tokens once you connect your wallet. Swap any tokens that you want for any combination and try to build transactions and volume over time. Once you do that enough, you'll start collecting points and you're going you're gonna to try to climb up the leaderboard and get as high as possible. The number of points earned is proportional to the total fees collected from positions. You can also copy your referral link and invite friends. And to get point multipliers, you can click on the pool here 
create a position in the pool and you will get uh, more points. I have linked to Igaboo's point system here if you wanna learn more about how the points work. For airdrop number eight, this is another airdrop with a point system and highly likely in my opinion. Now Stark DeFi has a bunch, a bunch of DeFi products coming out, but right now you can just swap funds, add liquidity to the pools, and then track your points in the leaderboard. Now, as you make swaps and add liquidity, you will start gaining progress here as well, in addition to getting points. And they have four core NFTs that you can unlock. And ideally you wanna get all four NFTs. So some notes on this, the SDC token is confirmed and they said a majority allocation is going to the community. This is also one of the first projects on StarkNet to receive a grant from StarkNet. The points program ends February 22nd, 2024, and this could have low competition. I did around $150 in volume, and I'm already in the top 4,000 wallets. So this could be one to look out for. Now we don't know how much money they've raised, but definitely something to keep an eye out for. And here are the tasks if you want to pause the video. Now looking at airdrops 9, 10, and 11, these are more just decentralized exchanges. You can go to all of these platforms, connect your wallet, swap tokens, and try to get points in their point systems. All airdrops are rumors. Now Fibris Finance in particular might have low competition as well as I only made two swaps and I'm in the top 4,000 wallets. With Sith Swap, they don't have a point system yet. It says it's coming soon but most of the time your points will get transferred over once they launch the points system, but just another thing to keep in mind. Now there's a lot of protocols here, so maybe you only wanna do a couple swaps on every single platform, but then really focus on the airdrops you think have the most potential, because wherever you put the most volume, that's where you're gonna get the biggest airdrop potentially. So just something to keep in mind, you might have to focus on one or two projects to generate most of your volume or something of that nature. Moving on to airdrop number 12, we have Pyramid Market. So if you're into NFTs, this is the one you want to look out for. They have their season one going right now and you can earn points. So you click the collections here and then you can start earning points by buying, selling, minting NFTs, bidding on NFTs and things of that nature. Now StarkNet does have some popular NFT collections that you can look into, but as you buy and sell multiple times and generate volume, your score will increase. For airdrop number 13, we have Flex Marketplace. And while Pyramid doesn't have a airdrop confirmed, Flex does. And right now you can mint their native NFT essentially. And if you wanna purchase this NFT, it says that we are launching an airdrop for Flex Evo holders if you want to spend 0.01 ETH. Personally, I purchased this, but if you don't wanna buy that, then just skip this airdrop. Just like Pyramid, this is another NFT marketplace, and you can go on here and buy and sell NFTs, put bids on collections, and just start interacting with the platform. It looks like they have a points system coming soon, according to my research. And while they've confirmed an airdrop, we don't know how much money they raised or anything like that. So just some things to keep in mind. Airdrop 14, we have StarkNet ID. Now this is essentially the ENS for StarkNet where you can get domain names for your wallet address. So instead of a long list of numbers, you can get like a simple address to send funds to. So you would just type in a domain name, go through the steps and mint that domain. This one does cost money as well. It's about 25 USD or 0.009 ETH. Now the team has hinted at rewarding early users and ENS on Ethereum did have a really big airdrop as well. So this might have potential as well. The other task you'd want to do is create some identities. This only costs gas fees, but you would click add identities and just link your social profiles like your Twitter and Discord account. And that might help qualify for an airdrop as well. But again, this one is just a rumor and there's no point system. Like some of these airdrops, it is not guaranteed, but hopefully it pays off. Airdrop 15, 16, and 17. These are decentralized exchanges as well. So we have Jedi Swap. This one doesn't have a point system or mention of an airdrop, but as we can see on DeFi Llama, it's one of the top protocols on StarkNet. ZKX is a perp dex that is coming soon. They are launching their mainnet in Q1 2024. And they said they're gonna have some gamified system. So I'm assuming a point system. Now there's a few things you can do on this platform, but the first one is just to create an account here. And once you create an account, just wait until the mainnet is launched before you can start interacting. These guys do have a confirmed airdrop, but as we can see here, I'm not sure if it's too late to participate. 
a lot of dexes do have multiple airdrop rounds and i would just have to do a little more research there you can also try getting their nft to join a clan and follow their x account in discord for more announcements these guys have four and a half million dollars raised and lastly same thing with rabbit x this is another perp dex they've had two airdrops already and i think there will be more in the future so you can go on here and swap tokens make trades and this is a perp dex so make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to be trading with leverage but they do have an rbx token and in general this exchange actually has a lot of volume and it's gaining popularity and we know that 32.5 percent of the token supply is for the community so i'm not sure how much of that token supply is left for airdrops after the two airdrops already there's two airdrops the ones under this line i just need to do more research but i wanted to get this video out so I'm not 100% sure how likely these ones are, so I just put them at the bottom here. But if you would like, you can research these yourself. And this one isn't an airdrop itself, StarkNet Quest, but this is kind of just a bonus. So you can go to this website, connect your wallet, and then get experience points and stuff like that. The main thing here is you can like do the quests and it'll walk you through some of the dApps that I mentioned. So if we do Ikubu, it'll just go here and you can earn uh, experience points. And then you're also getting the airdrop rewards at the same time. So if you want to use this platform, it'll walk you through some of the protocols. And in their words, you can complete achievements to grow your on-chain reputation on StarkNet. So that's a lot of airdrops we went through. Now remember, not all of these are guaranteed and not we don't know how much money they're gonna pay, but in general, the more volume and transactions you build on all these protocols, the larger the airdrop you'll receive. And while you can do all of them, it's probably best to find a couple that you like and really focus on them to build the most volume there. There are some extra tools at the bottom of the spreadsheet dap land is a good one if you want to find more starknet dapps you can find statistics on l2b and track your starknet transactions in volume and quantity using the block explorers a lot of good resources in this spreadsheet so drop a like if this was valuable to you and remember to stay safe these are all new protocols at the end of the day so don't risk more money than you can afford to lose and lastly if you want a checklist for all of my top crypto airdrops you can go to rankfi.com slash airdrop enter your email and i'll send you the checklist for my favorite airdrops right now but that's it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one